Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your bro here, hope you're doing well, and in this video we're going to be discussing constructors in C++, so let's get into it. Before you reach the end of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that we together can challenge and defeat the mighty YouTube algorithm. Hey everyone, so we're going to be discussing constructors. A constructor is a special function that is automatically called when an object is instantiated. I needed to write that down because I wouldn't remember the definition. So it's useful for assigning arguments to variables whenever we instantiate an object. So based on the last lesson with object-oriented programming, we created three humans. Well, we have two now, we lost Jerry. So we have Rick and we have Morty. So you can see that it's a lot of work to manually assign all of these values to variables. But one thing we can do is that we can create a constructor to take care of that for us. So a constructor is automatically called anytime you instantiate an object of that class. So if we want to create a new constructor for our human class, this is what we're going to type. So after all of these variable declarations, what we're going to type is the name of our class. So we're going to type human, then a set of parentheses, and then a set of curly braces. So this is almost identical to a function, but we don't need to list a return type. Now we can actually set up parameters for this constructor. So for example, we could pass in some of these values that we're assigning to these variables as arguments now, and we don't have to do this by hand. So we can actually send in the name, an age, and a weight. So let's do this here next to each of these object names. So we're going to set up some parentheses, and then we're going to pass in some arguments. So we're going to send in the name Rick, and the age of 65, and then a weight of 80 kilograms. So let's do the same thing for Morty then. So we're going to change the name, send in the age, and a weight in kilograms. All right, so we no longer actually need these because we're going to take care of this in the constructor. So within the constructor, we need to set up parameters. So we're going to need to set up a string variable that's going to function as a name, an integer that's going to function as an age, and a double value that will function as a weight. All right, you can see that all the red underline went away now. Now we can actually assign some of these values to each of these individual objects then. So this is what we're gonna type. Now this is what we're gonna type. The keyword this dash greater than sign name equals name. So this name is whatever we receive as an argument. So we're going to follow a similar pattern for the age and the weight. So this age equals age and this weight equals weight. So these are the values that we're actually receiving and we're assigning these to the variables of the object that is currently using this constructor. So if we're instantiating the human one object, we're assigning all of these values to the variables of human1. And if human2 is using this constructor, we're assigning all of these values to human2's variables. So basically, replace this word with the variable of whatever object is actually using this constructor. So that's a good way of thinking of this. So this allows us to actually reuse these statements before we had to like type these out by hand. And it's not too bad if we only have two objects, but imagine if we had like hundreds, we'd be here all day then. So we can simply just keep on reusing this code then. Now let's display all of human one's variables just to prove that I'm not a liar. So we'll see out human one's name, then we'll end line, and let's do the same thing for his age and his weight. So human one dot age and human one dot weight. I think I'll add maybe years old after the age and kilograms after the weight. So KGS. All right, let's try it. Yep, Rick is 65 years old and he weighs 80 kilograms. Now let's replace this with human two. Yep, Morty is 16 years old and is 60 kilograms. 
So now if we ever create a new object, we can just pass in some arguments if we want to assign some values right away. So if we want to create human three and human three is Jerry and he will be 45 years old and he will weigh 85 kilograms. So whenever we instantiate a new object, we can just pass in some values to assign to this object's variables right away then. So let's display all of human three's variables at this point and we'll try it out. Yep, Jerry is 45 years old and weighs 85 kilograms. Okay guys, there's one thing I should mention before you go. So with C++, it is possible to place a constructor outside of its given class, and you can do this with something called a scope resolution operator. It's basically these two colon symbols. So within a class, you can simply have just the constructor declaration like this, and then we can place the rest of the code outside of the class. So what you might see is the name of the class followed by the scope resolution operator, followed by the name of the class again, and then like the rest of the code here. So this would also be valid. And let's actually try this. So you can see that it works just fine. So that's really the basics of constructors. It's a special function that is automatically called when an object is instantiated. And a good use for this is assigning arguments to variables right away. So instead of assigning all these values by hand, we can just pass them to a constructor and the constructor can take care of it for us. So that's basically what a constructor is. So if you'd like a copy of all the code that we worked on, I'll post this in the comments down below. And your homework for today is to post a constructor in the comments. But yeah, that is how constructors work in C++. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.